ഹലോ വെൽക്കം ടു ജിയോജി സ്പോട്ട് ലൈറ്റ് ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഈസ് അബൌട്ട് സം ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ട്രെൻഡ്സ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് ഇൻ ദി ഓൺ ഗോയിങ് ബുൾ മാർക്കറ്റ് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ദ ഫോക്കസ് ഓഫ് മൈ അനാലിസിസ് വുഡ് ബി സം ഏരിയാസ് ഓഫ് കൺസേൺ സം ഡിസ്റ്റർബിങ് അൺഹെൽത്തി and uh, undesirable trends that are happening in the market now first let us have an idea about the dominant theme the dominant trend of this ongoing bull market without doubt this is a very strong bull market let me summarize three features of this ongoing bull market number 1 this is a global bull market globally most markets are at record highs particularly the mother market us all the three indices dow jones s&p 500 and nasdaq are at record highs setting newer and newer records in india there is fundamental support to the bull rally economic growth is very impressive india has been growing at more than 7 percentage for the last 3 years in the coming year also the growth rate will be around 7 percentage so that will make india the fastest growing large economy in the world growing at double the rate of global economic growth for 4 years consecutively as a result of this impressive growth corporate earnings are good and good corporate earnings are providing the fundamental support to the market third the market is very resilient because of uh, the huge inflows into the market through domestic institutional investors particularly the mutual funds through hnis high net worth individuals and also retail investors these are all uh, positive developments desirable developments but what is not so desirable is the rampant speculation that is happening in the market now the reckless speculation that is happening in the market now there is a st- recent study by bloomberg uh, which shows that india is now not just now for the last 5 uh, years starting 2019 india is number 1 in the world in the fndo transactions fndo trade and trade volumes in the year 22 2022 financial year 2022 traders in india fndo traders in india executed 8500 fndo contracts this is by far the largest in the world this is larger than the total fndo volume not by value but a volume than the fndo transactions in the us remember the us is a huge economy and their market cap is around 50 trillion dollars india's market cap is only 4.2 trillion dollars but the fndo transaction in indian market with 4.2 trillion dollars is more than the fndo transactions by volume in the american market which has got a market cap of 50 trillion dollars this is this is a reckless trading and it is well known that 90 percentage of the uh, traders in the market in the fndo trade and also in the indra day trade 90 percentage of them lose during certain periods when there is a steady rise in the market some people may gain but in the long run 90 percentage lose and that is why sebi also has uh, uh, send a, a warning to market participants uh, warning them about the dangers of this fndo trading and intraday trading in the market now all the stock brokers have to carry this message in their platform if you open the platform for uh, Uh, market buying or selling 
the message that appears first is that 90 percentage of the FNO traders are losing money in the market. And the concern is the large number of uh, newbies that have entered the market during the last two, four years. And that is very huge. The total number of uh, DMAT accounts in April 2020 was 4.09 crores. Now it is more than 13 crores. So 9 crore DMAT accounts have been added to the total number of DMAT accounts in India. Out of this, I'm not saying that all of them are traders, no. But millions of these 9 crore uh, new DMAT account holders are trading in the market and losing money. This is a very unhealthy trend. Experience from the market is that. In the past, it is true in the present. It will be true in the future also. 90% of FNO traders lost money, are losing money and will be losing money in future also unless they stop that. Now these traders who are being trained in the market by the trading gurus. Now there is a, a breed of uh, trading gurus which have appeared now and they are uh, um, teaching trading through Telegram, through WhatsApp. They are uh, imparting training and large number of these youngsters, the newbies who are uh, driven by greed, who wants to make big money in the short run, make a fast buck, quick money. They are coming, paying huge fees and uh, learning this trading. Even in Kerala, there are large number of uh, uh, traders, trading, trading gurus who are imparting this trading with the messages like uh, bring 10,000 rupees, make 1 lakh. Sit at home, trade and make 5,000 to 10,000 rupees daily without doing any other work. This is the message that is being um, passed on by these new tech trading gurus. Many of them youngsters and many of them without a deep understanding of the market. Many of them are young. They haven't seen a, a bear market. Some of them have read about that. Most of them have only superficial knowledge of the history of the markets. And the SEBI investigated many of them and SEBI found that these people who are giving training to the potential traders are charging a very high fees and they got millions of rupees and in some cases crores of rupees by imparting training. But when SEBI investigated their trading accounts, it was found that most of these traders have incurred losses running into crores of rupees. So their actual experience is huge losses, but the message that they are passing on, the advertisement in their, in their strategy to attract the newbies to trading is, this is a very easy way to make money, quick money in the market. So large number of uh, youngsters are falling prey uh, to this uh, uh, training trading gurus and losing money. People are losing their hard-earned money. So the message that I am trying to convey is don't lose your hard-earned money through FNO trading and reckless speculation in the market. Many of these guys are lured by stories of big money made in the market. It is true that big money can be made in the uh, market. The, uh, the, the returns, it, it is an indisputable fact that the returns from investments in stocks is far higher than returns from any other asset class. In the long run, it does not happen in six months or one year, but if you have a time horizon of three years and above, investments in stocks can outperform investment in any other asset class. But this does not happen in the short run. There is no shortcut to financial success. There is no way you can make quick money. To make money, to be successful in the market, you need to be a systematic investor. Investing in stocks, high quality stocks, if you have the expertise to do that, if you have the time to do that, or 
investing through systematic investment plans in good mutual funds. So there is no shortcut to financial success. There is only one way to be financially successful and that is through successful investment in the long run, systematic investment for the long run, a lot of patience also is required. So don't go for shortcuts to financial success. The consequences will be very disastrous. Financial ruin is possible. Avoid that. Best wishes.